Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Truth Report for this week. The parashat for this week is in Hebrew, naso, meaning to lift up. And the Torah portion is taken from Numbers chapter 4, verse 21, through chapter 7, verse 89. And I'm especially excited about this particular portion of Scripture because of the importance of a segment of it the critical importance, the monumental importance of a certain portion of the scriptures. And it's found in Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 through 27. It's often referred to as the Aaronic blessing, the priestly blessing. And uh, <clears throat> you're familiar with it. Uh, many pastors will end their, their service with this benediction, the Lord bless you and keep you, the Lord make his face to shine upon you, be gracious to you, so on. But the critical understanding of this passage is based on verse 27. And there God says this. So when they put my name, when they put my name on the Israelites. Now, you're an, you're an Israelite. If Scriptures tells it, if we uh, confess Christ, we are descendants of Abraham and heirs to all the promise. We're in the Israel of God. So this applies to Christians as well. When they put my name on the Israel of God, I will bless them. When I put my name. Now, in the English version of this, there is no mention of his name. Lord. Lord bless you. Lord is not his name. That's a title. Now, as you may know, uh, the Jews, uh, rabbis have forbidden the Jewish people to use this name out of a, uh, what I believe to be a misguided sense of reverence for the third commandment. You should not use the name of the Lord your God in vain. We're not to use it in vain. We're not to misuse it, but we are to use it, and we're to use it in blessing those uh, that are most important to us that we want to bless. So in Hebrew, the, the correct rendering of this would be Yevareka Yahweh ve'yishmareka Ya'er Yahweh panavaleka ve'yukanecha you saw Yahweh panavaleka beyasim lecha shalom. Yahweh bless you, not Hashem, not Adonai. Yahweh, not Lord, certainly. These are all titles, but He's calling for His name to be placed on people that we want to bless. Yahweh bless you and keep you. Yahweh make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Yahweh turn His face toward you and give you His peace. May I say to you that this is a critical passage. And if you want to release and unleash, if you will, the blessing of God on your family, your wife, your children, your grandchildren, your loved ones, your friends, then you use the name of Yahweh. That's the means by which he has said he would bless his people if his name is released and placed on them. And so in obedience to that, I say to you, Yahweh bless you and keep you. Yahweh make his face to shine upon you, be gracious to you. Yahweh turn his face toward you and give you his peace. In Jesus' name, for that indeed is the truth.